Hi guys, welcome to another video of my channel. In the last video, we discussed about what Docker is, what are the things that Docker hosts, and how Docker works. Okay, these things we covered in the last video. If you haven't watched that, I will give the link of that video in my description. Go and check that out. Today we will be installing Docker and trying to run those commands. Okay, which we discussed in the last video. We will be running those commands today. Okay, so let's get started. So first we will come to Google and type Docker and this is Docker desktop is the second link which is there. We will click on this one and it is showing us this uh, operating system we are running. Okay, if you want it for Linux or Apple, you can get it from here. We are using Windows. You will click on Windows logo and it will start downloading. Okay, let's wait till it gets downloaded. Okay guys, it has been downloaded. Let's run the setup. it is taking a while yes shortcut to desktop yes okay so this using docker desktop we will be able to uh, create an image for our project and um, create a container and we can run that container itself so you we can uh, try almost everything in a local that executes when we deploy our project so everything we will be able to do in our local so that is a benefit of docker desktop so in my project when i had one issue where i was given a docker desktop work so in that I was facing this issue when we were deploying the image in the server. So we were getting some 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 issue there. So I had to debug that and fix that. So in that case I had to install Docker desktop and using this I was able to create the same Docker image and run that and uh, find out where the issue was. So we will be creating an image using this Docker desktop and we will be running that as well. Okay guys, so docker desktop has been installed now and uh, I will close and restart my system and we'll, con we'll get back. Hi. Okay guys, so docker desktop is now installed. I will close and restart my system and we'll get back. Okay guys, so I have restarted my desktop and this is the pop-up I'm getting after restarting and this is showing the user agreement. Okay, accept. Okay, I think we need to update our kernel. Okay, so let's do that first. If you're using ARM 64 machine, this is Okay guys, so we were facing an issue with WSL kernel version. So this Docker basically runs on Linux or Ubuntu box and that is not compatible with Windows. So we have to install this WSL and make it enabled through it using PowerShell and only after that we will be able to uh, run Docker desktop. So for this we will follow this particular link and once we open that it is having some steps in it. So first step is saying that we have to execute this particular command to enable that feature okay we are copying this and then we will go to search and type powershell and run as administrator okay and we will paste this command okay so it is enabling a service so let it get it completed okay it is completed after that we have to point it to the latest WSL version which is this command so we have to execute this one also we will come here and execute this okay so this is done after that guys you need to start restart your pc i've already did that so i will directly move to docker desktop okay guys in docker desktop we are having three uh, tabs over here which are container images and volume so containers which we are going to create will show over here and images which we will be creating will be shown here okay so uh, let's see the demo what uh, it is showing 
it is showing run this particular command and a, a sample will be run okay so let's go to command prompt and run as administrator and paste it and press enter okay so the container should be started okay yeah we can see one container it has taken some name by default and okay it is showing running and it will be hosted on a local host okay so this is running on a on a local host this particular sample which they have provided okay so that's how it will run and this application is hosted in that particular container so this is how it is running okay so let's stop this server okay so i'm having one example i've created a docker file and so this uh, docker to build a docker image we can we have to create a docker file so this docker file is having a specific format and and it follows some where some functions are there such as from copy entry point so i have used the minimal functions over here so in the from we are telling that uh, get the amazon coreto jdk so aws amazon publish their own jdk version so that one we are using we are telling that get the amazon coreto jdk and 11 version of that so jdk 11 will be installed to that image from this particular line and a copy this particular file to the temp folder in the container so we i have created a java file also which is having a simple println statement which i have placed in the same folder in my in the docker under the docker folder so this file is uh, is a simple java file with a main method with a println statement inside it which is saying java and docker okay so this was a docker file and this entry point we have to define so what uh, from where we want to enter into the like what in the end we want to run so we are just running this particular java file using the uh, java normal command line function okay so let's create the image and let's try to run it okay so we will go to docker desktop and okay not docker desktop we will go to command prompt and give a command okay yeah this is the command docker build slash t and that tag we can give so this tag will be mapped to our image once the image is created if we want to uh, add a tag to that so we later on we will need to find that this image belongs to which particular category and why I, why, why I created that so for that we are having this okay so we will copy this and go to command from so first we will have to um, get to the folder which in which we have placed the docker file okay so we will just do a cd command and copy this particular directory and we will point to this particular directory in the command prompt okay that is done after that we are going to create a docker image using this command docker build slash t and tag so this dot in the end says that whatever docker file is present in this particular folder create an image for that okay so we will hit enter after this okay so it executes from step by step so from copy and entry point three steps you are having three functions you are using and three steps so three steps are there in total so it is showing that okay this one is completed then after that uh, the copy is also completed and after that this particular thing is also completed okay we can also check if our image is created or not properly by using one command docker image ls so it, it will list all the images which were created in the docker so it is showing example slash first v2 and image id it has given to it okay so that's fine now we want to run this image in our container okay for that we are having one command docker run so build is for building the image and run is for running that in the container okay so this is the command and we have to in this we can give our container name okay if you want to give some so we saw that it by default for the for the example it sample example it gave the container name by itself okay so if we want to give a name of a container we can give this particular tag and then the name of a container and after that we have to give a, give the image id so we will copy this command go to command prompt paste it and then we have to give the image id and image id we will get from here okay so we will copy this and paste it over here okay okay and then we will hit enter so what should happen is 
our the, the Java file we created should get executed after this particular run because we have given that execute this file once you once the container is up okay so we have moved to command prompt and we will give enter after that okay so we saw that Java and docker so this is the system dot out dot print ln statement we give in the in our file so that got executed so that means the, our doc our docker is running properly docker container so it is showing us first container and it is showing logs okay this got executed and in the files we can also uh, check if if that file uh, that java file i created got copied or not into the container so it is showing this stamp is got modified and inside that we have our file which was executed in the container okay so like that we can create an image in a container using docker desktop so guys you also try it practically by yourself and let me know if you are facing any issues i will make a video for that or i ping the pin ping down in the comments i will reply to that okay till then guys see you in the next session bye bye